it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Friday, November 1st. So welcome to November. Welcome to the new moon in Scorpio. We definitely have a lot going on here today. The energy has definitely peaked and we are moving through a very intense transformation of our soul, of our spirit, of our emotions, of our intuition. And of course, the mind body soul equation needs to be in alignment before we're going to see those changes in our external realm. So of course, today, being the new moon in Scorpio, we're in the dark phase of the moon, we're sitting in the funk, we're realizing what needs to end what needs to die, we're realizing what needs to be kind of strengthened, what we need to give life to what we have to build what we have to create. Now, the dark phase of the moon, again, there's no illumination in the sky. We're lacking information and details. We're kind of concerned that we don't have a plan, that we don't have a strategy. We're kind of concerned that we don't know what awaits us. But again, may I remind you, you have to get comfortable with not knowing. That's where we're at. We have to learn to trust ourselves, trust the process, and trust the plan of the universe. Now, there's a lot of energies going on here today. I'm going to encourage you to, A, take a listen to the November energy forecast, where I give you an overview of all the different energy shifts coming at us here in November. B, download your November energy guide. I specifically have created these according to zodiac signs so that you understand where all of these energy events are going to impact your life the most. C, You got to listen to the new moon and Scorpio forecast that I put out there. And of course, D, download the moon guide. We got to be doing the work. Now, this is a very intense way to start off the month, especially the 11th month where we're moving into master creator, master manifester abilities. That's what that 11 energy is all about. We have a lot of numerological portals and gateways that we could tap into if you're in alignment and belief of that. And what we also have going on here today is an official moon day, meaning there are seven different aspects popping off here today. All seven of them are involving the moon. So it is a new moon, in Scorpio, but it's also a moon day, a time for emotional reflection, for introspection, for change, for transformation in our emotional, intuitive, spiritual, and soulful realms. And as if that wasn't enough, it's also the last day that Mercury is going to be in Scorpio energy. We do have Mercury moving into Sagittarius energy here tomorrow. And of course, under this new moon in Scorpio event, Mercury is at the final degrees of Scorpio energy, which is going to bring an intensity to the headspace. So again, I'm also going to recommend that you take a listen to the astro forecast that I put out there for Mercury moving into Sagittarius so that you know how this is going to affect your thoughts your inner dialogue, your communication style, because again, heads up, if you listen to the November energy overview, you would know that Mercury is going to go retrograde at the end of the month. So we have to pay special attention to what's going on when Mercury first moves into this Sag energy, because these are going to be the topics and themes that we're going to be revisiting once Mercury actually retrogrades. So with all of that being said, let's jump into the astrology here for the day. The moon in Scorpio going to make an awkward interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance and blessings, who, of course, is retrograde in Gemini energy. This has everything to do with looking back, reflecting back upon the tough love life lessons that we've learned the wisdom, the knowledge that we've been able to pluck out of those particular chapters of life and where it is that maybe we've known better, but we just haven't been doing better. This is the aha moments that we need to have looking back to see where it is that we're kind of sleeping on ourselves and where it is that we have information, wisdom, knowledge within us already that we need to be putting into practice, that we need to be integrating, that we actually have to be using to our advantage in order for us to avoid making the same kind of mistakes over and over again. Emotionally speaking, with the moon in this dark phase of the moon and Scorpio energy, we are looking to put an end, a closure, a death to a particular cycle in order for us to be empowered enough to start a new one, especially we're operating in alignment with the wisdom, knowledge, and information that we've already accumulated through the tough love life lessons that we've already had. 
The moon in Scorpio going to make a harsh interaction with the north node in Aries energy. That north node is trying to get us on the right path, trying to get us to our next mission, trying to help us to reach our full potential. But again, this is the dark phase of the moon. We shouldn't be thinking so far ahead into the future. We shouldn't be pushing for changes in this present moment in order to kind of, you know, start the domino effect to see that our physical realms change. What we should be doing is taking a good look back. How do we get here? What choices, decisions did our old version of self make that the new version of self is currently living in that, of course, we need to close the door upon before we can start building towards this future goal, vision, and dream. 8.47 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moon and the sun come together in the Scorpio energy for conjunction. That's what gives us our new moon energy. And this is a reset. This is a renewal. This is the change, the transformation taking place in our inner realm. Again, going to advise you, listen to the forecast, download the moon guide. Please do the work. The moon later in the day, 2.24 p.m. to be specific, the moon in Scorpio, then going to make a positive interaction with the North Node. So something shifts for us midday. We're starting to kind of see what it is that we have to end, that we have to close the door upon. We see options and opportunities to grow, to heal, to evolve. We see the steps available to us now that we definitely can take to start moving forward and making some progress in a brand new path, a brand new direction. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Neptune. Neptune, of course, retrograde in his rulership in this Pisces energy. This is water on water action. But because it's an awkward interaction, we're kind of confused. We're kind of, I'm going to say, deluded to reality at this point. We are sitting in an overwhelming state of realizing what we have to do. We are kind of avoiding life, avoiding reality at this particular juncture, because of course, Neptune is the escape artist of the Zodiac. We don't want to deal with reality. We want to live in la la land. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a permission slip to do just that. Because when we're living in la la land, we're fantasizing about what our lives could look like. And of course, from that fantasy, we can kind of invoke the right kind of emotion to back wanting to actually bring that fantasy to life. And having the perspective in contrast to where it is that we're at in our present day, we start seeing who and what needs to stay and needs to go. We have the moon in Scorpio trining beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde in Pisces energy. We talk very much about Mr. Saturn in the moon guide and in that new moon forecast. Reason being, we're having some serious structural changes take place in our inner realm. Structural changes to our DNA, to our spirituality, to our soul, to our emotions, to our perspective, to our understanding. And we all can thank Mr. Saturn for that. So this is actually a good interaction. It's water on water, which means that we're being cleansed and purified of the heaviness of the weight. We're being renewed and refreshed in our soul and our spirit. We're being rejuvenated in our imagination, in our intuition, and we're likely going to bring some downloads into our awareness where we're able to understand them and articulate them if need be. So the last thing that we got going on here today is a beautiful interaction between the moon in Scorpio energy and Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance and blessings, who is retrograde in Gemini energy. We started the day off with this interaction, but it was an awkward one. This is a positive interaction, which means that we are feeling the change in our mood, in our attitude, we're feeling the change in our perspective, we're gaining optimism, we're gaining confidence about the options and opportunities that we now have available to us to boss up, to get our shit together, and to actually do better. So this is going to be a little bit of a hype energy, especially coming out of the funkiness, the darkness of that new moon that has taken place earlier on in the day. We're starting to see areas of our life be spotlighted, be magnified on where it is that we have the information, knowledge and wisdom alive and well within us. We just have to put it into practice and we're feeling pretty good about our options and opportunities to do just that. We're starting to see a little bit bigger, broader picture that awaits us when we decide to start moving away from past and start building towards future aspects.